Hi guys, we're here with Mark from Denuo Novo, and he's going to give us a booth tour today and show us some of the latest Star Wars props that they have for sale. So thank you guys so much for coming to visit us here at Star Wars Celebration. We're thrilled to share our high-end costumes and collectibles, especially our wall of helmet accessories that you see at the back. Uh, but if you want to start first with Director Krennic, uh, the Admiral has uh, landed over here. Uh, this is our Admiral Tunic and Director Krennic cape in this gorgeous off-white. It's a very dramatic cape filled with a lot of seams. Very much matches the look and feel that you see on screen. Our whole point of differentiation is that we're trying to do as close to screen accurate as possible. So these two items are on pre-order right now, arriving in June. Um, and of course the cape actually snaps into the tunic. You can wear it with or without the snaps. We also have Imperial Officer pants that are part of a larger Imperial Officer uniform in black, which is the junior level. We have a matching tunic for him, as well as the hat uh, with the hat as well. We also have an Imperial Officer belt that goes with it. So we're trying to give you all the different pieces to create your costume. That's awesome. And all of these are 501st approvable. Uh, just speak with your garrison about getting started on making a costume. Sweet. Yeah. So I know us at Star Wars Daily are huge fans of the Clone Wars, and here we have the Clone Trooper Helmet Phase 2 um, from Revenge of the Sith, and I'm super excited about this piece. It looks absolutely fantastic. Could you tell us more about it? Yes, absolutely. So I'm glad you mentioned it's from Revenge of the Sith. Uh, that is the movie reference that we use for this helmet. It is a fiber. Here, you can feel it. Fiber awesome. class. Nice and hefty. Yeah. It is also a wearable piece. One of the challenges with this particular helmet was that because it was basically done through special effects only, it didn't really work on as a wearable item. But we removed the bottom ring that would have otherwise have been there. Okay. So that's how we're able to get it on a human head. I'm going to demonstrate. You can see that this is wearable and good for true things. It has a lot of great weight to it, and it feels yeah. really like premium. So let me ask you, are there any plans for a phase one? Uh, you know, I'm not sure yet. I, I, we have a lot of love for Attack of the Clones. In fact, we got Django Fett over here, yeah. um, which is one of our brand new ones. Uh, the Clone Trooper Phase 2 seems to be the preferred one. Right. It's also the item that was left behind by a Novos. I really like the, the one-piece design. It's really solid. Uh, yeah. I know that Anovos had the Commander Gree helmet in the works. I'm a huge fan of Commander Gree. But, is that a possibility? You know, I don't remember that one being on the back order. Uh, but and in fact, in any, if anyone has an item they'd like to see, though, email customer service at denuronova.com. Send us your product recommendations. And if you do have a back order item, we have been fulfilling the back order for, uh, at this point now, we've shipped out well over a thousand items to people who have been waiting. So we're, you know, getting our way through. Okay. Uh, email customer service and they can help you resolve all those issues as well as take your new suggestions. Cool. Thank you. So I know you guys revealed this 501st Clone Trooper helmet recently once the Kenobi series came out and we saw this in Kenobi. So I know a lot of people are going to be looking to get their hands on this one. This really worked in our favor because we did not have the insider. Oh, really? <laughs> and, and standing next to you as well, we got speed. Yeah. Uh, we planned well and things happen. So, you know, sometimes you flip a coin and it goes your way. Right. Uh, we made the Clone Trooper Phase 2. We've been working on it for a while. And from there, we took the same mold. So you can feel this. Um, you'll notice it feels exactly like the Phase right. 2 weathered because it is the same mold. The only thing we added was the paint deco, yeah. which includes a lot of the like, scrapes and cracking. You know, weathering was very much the thing right. that makes it seem like a, um, a used item in the universe. It feels like it was actually, you know, it's real paint. It has the paint lines here. The weathering oh, yeah. is textured and everything, so it's not just like... Yeah, this is hand painted. Yeah. So our fiberglass items are mostly made in Texas, and they are hand painted. Our plastic items, like our uh, X wings and our Tie Fighters, those you actually really want to be very uniform, and so those are made in China, and those are done with decals. Cool. Whereas like the fiberglassing, hand paint, so you got a little bit of differentiation with the weathering and everything. Am I able to put this on? Absolutely. Go for it. Thank you. 